Hey guys, what's up? So for the past week, I've been using the MIUI Roam or the MyUI for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. So I'll share with you guys my review, my insights, and of course, an overview of the MyUI or the MIUI or the MIUI or whatever you want to call it for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, we got here the MIUI and the My or the MyUI Roam, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it MIUI or MyUI. So this is ba this is actually an Android ROM, obviously, but it's based actually on the Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware. In this case, I'm not so sure whether it's the XWLSS, but I know it's the 4.1.2 firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S2. And as you can see, this is the lock screen, and it's quite similar to you know the other Android ROMs out there, but the way they design, the way the developers and the designers of the team design it is a little bit of a different user experience. It's like a fusion or a mixture of both Android and iOS. So as you can see, we've got the lock screen over here. The fonts are beautiful. They're crisp. I like crisp and I like it. And if we press this, as we will be given uh, different shortcuts. We've got the unlock button here. We've got messaging. We've got um, camera and call. Let's unlock the device. So as you can see, it's got a very colorful and attractive uh, icons and user interface. And if you scroll, scroll from uh, right, left to right or right to left, on the different home screens, you notice that um, we don't have any apps button or icon at the bottom. So all the apps are actually installed or placed just like on the iOS or iPhone on the home screen itself. And on the left hand side of the home screen we've got this um, search widget similar to what we get on the iPhone. So let's have a quick tour of the user experience or user interface for the Mi U. Rome or the my UI. So if you pull down on the notifications, we get the toggles over here, which is very reminiscent of Android, of course. So we've got all the similar toggles found on Android, but we've got this different um, sort of like a tab, tabbed uh, notifications. We got we, all the notifications will be lined up over here, and uh, you can easily switch between the two, between the notifications and the toggles. And of course, we've got a settings button, which we'll check out later on. So as you can see, we've got different icons. Beautiful, I like it. Um, we've got the time over here. I believe this is a widget, which can be easily moved around, as you can see. But let's check out a few of the default or system apps that come with the Mi U and my UI ROM. And I believe I'm using version 3.7.5. Correct me if I'm wrong or, yeah. So anyway, so as you can see, uh, let's check out the gallery app. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any pictures over here, so I can't really give you a demo on that. The music, the, the music app is quite cool. Again, uh, you can scroll between all songs, artists, playlists, and even with their online cloud storage. So MiU, the MyUI, or the MiUI, whatever you want to call it again, um, has their own store, uh, cloud storage called Mi Cloud. We've got Teams. I'll definitely check that out with you guys in a little while. We've got Settings, Market. Market is similar to the Google Play Store, and yeah, unfortunately, this doesn't ship with the Google Play Store app. You've got to download it, and you can easily do that by searching for Google over here and downloading the first app, which is by Eric Zhang. I hope I'm pronouncing his name properly. And all you have to do is to install that app, download it, and you'll be on your way to installing the Google's core um, services and apps. And as you can see, I installed Gmail, the Play Store, Maps, and a few others.